There's no turning back now. Italy's parliament has fully approved a 48 billion euro austerity package to bring the country's economy back from the brink. Following in the Senate's footsteps, the lower house gave its green light to spending cuts and tax raising measures likely to prove painful for many. A lot of people are going to suffer, uh, particularly middle classes and lower middle classes and working classes, the poorer people. Uh, which means that there will almost certainly be protests. Uh, but I think it's very unlikely that they will be to the same extent that they were in, that they have been and will be in Greece. Public sector workers wasted no time in showing their disapproval. Striking for two hours at the end of their shifts, they protested outside the Treasury. I'm here for so many reasons. I'm really not happy with this government and how things are being organized. I feel like everyone is taking a piece of me. It makes me feel that Italy is a great country, but you cannot live well here anymore. Battling one of the Eurozone's biggest debt mountains, Italy aims to balance the budget by 2014. It's a daunting prospect for economy minister Giulio Tremonti and for the Italian people.